Hey Leo, it's Monique here and uh, we are going to be looking at your reading for October 12th to 18th. So I took some tips from some people, uh, just um, some tips about my videos from last week and um, people were saying they wanted to see the table and see the cards more. So um, yeah, I took their advice. So hopefully this is much better. So these cards have been cleansed and ready to go for Leo. So let's take a look at the week ahead. Ooh, this one wants to fly out. What is it? Ooh, the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Awesome. feels good to me. So let's take a look. Hoo -hoo. Some big energy right out of the gate. All right. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's get to it here. So, um, the eight, look, that almost flew out of my hand. The eight of pentacles kind of flew out of the deck there. So, um, that is our flyer card and our energy card for this reading, Leo. Um, and the Eight of Cups is, it's really quite a nice card. It has everything to do with abundance, loving what you do, um, being proud of the work you've done and working away. So, well, not like working away, but like working away. Anyways, working a lot. How about that? but in a good way. Um, so interesting. So the very first, you don't see this often. So the very first card I pulled was the temperance card. And then the one after that was the lovers that crossed it just to have two major arcana cards come up first and crossing themselves. Um, really, you don't see that very often. So Leo, what I can tell you is this, there is some kind of decision you want to make. And the lovers, um, even though it, uh, it says the lovers, the lovers card has to do with partnerships, uh, but not, depending on the cards around, it usually doesn't have to do with a love connection. So um, it also has to do with making a choice or making a decision. Now, there, it feels like, Leo, that you want to make some kind of decision, but you are being told with the temperance card, there's a big message for you to be patient. This week is not your week to make big decisions, okay? You need to sleep on it. You need to really think about things. Do not make any rash decisions. Um, this is actually a good week for action for some of the other signs. Um, like Gemini, like Taurus. But for you, you need to be patient this week in order for things to work out the way they should. So crowning all this is the Ace of Wands, which is an opportunity coming your way okay or maybe your decision has to do with an opportunity it could be a job offer or some kind of project you can be working on um it is coming up reverse though which to me is speaking volumes with this temperance card here so you need to take the time before you make any decisions you can't be making rash decisions like hell to the no um, and also with patience comes good things. Um, the page of pentacles is coming up as well. So um, this is news of money, news of opportunity coming to you. So again, I see there being opportunity coming your way, but just because everything looks really good on the surface, you need to take the time to make the right decision. Am I saying that this is a bad opportunity? No, that's not what I'm saying. 
Um, what I'm saying is you need to just take the time. You need to sleep on it. Um, it could even be a big purchase like a car or, I mean, gosh, I even, I bought a mattress this week. So it could be something like that where you're just like, you know what? I just want to do this. Just not the time to be rushing. Okay. So just don't rush. Make sure you're thinking about everything. Um, so awesome. This has been coming up in so many readings, which is amazing. The nine of cups, the nine of cups is the luckiest card in the deck. So, um, with that coming up, um, it's like the universe, God, whatever it is you believe in is saying that, Hey, if you just stay patient, things are going to work out really well. The wheel of fortune is also coming up in your reading, Leo. So you need to just be patient. You are very protected. Your angels and guides are there with you, helping you along, but you need to be patient. There's also... So there's like two messages here for Leo. So one is has to do with opportunity. The other has to do with... It could be matters of the heart, like a relationship. Things haven't been feeling that great. I feel like you've been feeling alone in a relationship. Um, the Eight of Cups comes up, which to me always tells me like it's you. I don't know if you can see this, but you see this row of cups on the bottom here, and then there's one cup missing here. So what the message is is that something's missing, and again, this could have to do with a love relationship. Um, you're feeling alone. You're not feeling the greatest. Again, patience. Don't pull the trigger. Don't do anything rash right now. Um, yes, it could really feel like it's time to break it off, but just you need to, again, just think and uh, make sure you're okay with your decision. And again, when I'm saying you guys have to be patient and don't make any decisions don't, that are rash, like, oh, if there's an opportunity, don't take it right away. I'm not saying that that's a bad decision. It more it more so has to do with you um, not regretting the decision you make. You want to be 100% on it so you're not looking back in the rear view mirror and thinking, oh, woulda, coulda, shoulda, right? So, um, okay. There's also, I'm just kind of looking here. So I've got the Page of Swords coming up. Sometimes this can have this also. So like the Page of Swords is telling me that there might be some disagreements as well. So you could be having some disagreements with friends or coworkers or just clashing with people. Again, patience, patience. Don't punch anyone in the face or in the eye. Um, just don't let your temper or your anger get the better of you. Um, let's pull another couple cards or a few. Um, yes. Okay. So this is definitely your week to play by the rules, Leo. So, um, again, I am not saying that any of the opportunities coming your way are bad or anything like that there's a lot of good stuff here there's the nine of cups which is so lucky the wheel of fortune which is amazing you just have to be patient and then I pulled a few extra cards so we have the hero bent which is all about um it's basically it's like you need to play by the rules. It's like being a part of an institution. It's not really about thinking outside the box this week. It's just play by the rules. Play nice in the sandbox. Um, we've also got the Seven of Pentacles, which is a great abundant card. And then the, the Knight of Pentacles, which he isn't too much of a mover and a shaker. He is planted firmly on the ground. Uh, the pentacles have to do with money. So again, not uh, just be just chill. <laughs> don't 
don't spend big amounts of money this week. Just chill and everything's going to be okay. You need to play by the rules. Play nice. Don't lose your shit with anyone. And uh, with the Seven of Pentacles coming up, this has to do with abundance. Everything's going to be awesome. There's abundance coming your way. You just need to be patient and take this week to chill out a little bit. So um leo i hope that made sense i hope you enjoyed the reading and if you did please subscribe to my um i keep wanting to say page but it's a channel my youtube channel tell your friends and um can't wait to hear how your week went and uh we will see you next week all right ciao for now